Um, I want to make sure that as best I can, and I don't know if there's protocol for things like this, is to make sure that I do the very best job I can of leaving Xavier the way Xavier deserves to be left. And uh, I cannot say enough good things about this place. I was here eight years, and <clears throat> it really defines who I am to a large degree. Uh, the student experience at Xavier is second to none, and that's really had a way of shaping who I am as not only a person but as a coach. One of the most difficult, if not the most difficult decision that I've ever made, and it's because of the people that are here I think the place I'm going speaks for itself. I'm excited, but right now it's not about that. It's about just making sure that you understand the city of Cincinnati, the friends that I've met, the families that I've met, the people, the players, uh, have been just nothing short of uh, a dream. And it's having said all that, I know I'm the guy that's leaving, but don't think for a second that it's fun to leave. I'm all of a sudden waving goodbye. And it's not that easy. And love our players. They're going to have a terrific team. And the one thing that I'm excited about with Xavier is the legacy will certainly continue under the direction of the new coach. Because uh, if I feel good about one thing, I know that this place, this program, in terms of uh, our basketball program, is in a better place right now than it was five years ago and eight years ago. And Clearly, the team next year and beyond has a chance to do things every bit as well, if not better. And that's the one thing that keeps me going with making this decision, that I know that this machine will continue to move on in a very positive direction. Uh, Mike Babinski, the best. So, questions? Sean, uh, it's obviously you've wrestled with this decision. What uh, what apparently changed from last night to this morning, or did anything change? You know, I think in a decision like this, I uh, hope I never have to go through it again, really. Uh, you, just, you go back and forth, and you know, I certainly have an incredible opportunity to do things in my own life and, and family that, uh, that weighed heavily, but... Uh, process didn't swing that much other than just I, I really tried the best of my ability to be honest, follow my heart, keep Mike Babinski involved on this end, and obviously the University of Arizona as best I could on, on their end. Coach, why Arizona and why now? Well, uh, I don't want to talk too much about that. You know, there's going to be a press conference down the road, but I would never leave Xavier unless it was a place that I really felt you could win a national championship. And when I mean that, I don't want to say you can't win one here, but a place that has done it before and a place that has had that quarter of a century worth of excellence stamped to it. And just like Xavier, the growth of this program through several coaches through a 25-year period of time, if you just watch and look at Arizona, you see that they've done some amazing things in 25 years under one coach. And to have that opportunity to kind of have a new era under me is something that's uh, I follow my heart on that. Coach, I've talked to a lot of students on campus today. A lot of them felt like some of the things that you did bringing them in before games, working with them, made them feel like a part of your program. Um, and they're just as disappointed, you know, maybe more so than with the coach that didn't have that connection. I just wonder what you say to the students were feeling disappointed tonight. Well, it's what I said at the beginning, Xavier University is the special place that it is because the students are always at the forefront of every decision in the classroom, in our case on the court. Uh, they are treated with incredible respect and because of that they grow and they, they become a real part of, of this campus community. When you walk into the Centos Center and you see the student body there, they're the heartbeat of what makes it a special home court. I know it's a home court that's very difficult for the opponent and in large part, they've put their signature on that, and that's something that, that they will forever do. I know that. And, uh, but I'd like to thank them as well. They've been very supportive of not only me but our teams. And We share in, in, uh, in the winning here. We share in championships, and, and everybody does it together. Sean, as, as you went back and forth the last few days, how much did your conversations with other coaches, guys like John Calipari, play a role in, in, in this final decision? 
every coach has his core group of friends, but I, I really tried to trust my gut. I tried to follow uh, what, what really makes me because uh, when you make a decision like this, you're, you're the guy. And you're the guy that's going to live with, with everything that goes from here on out. So as much as I tried to get the opinions of others, I, I ended up following my own heart. Is it correct that last, last night you decided to stay at Xavier, and then at what point did you, did you change that decision? It just it was a just kind of a never ending process until this afternoon. But how did players take it when you told them? I'm sure most of them had an idea what was coming. Yeah, I think each one of them is dealing dealing with it internally. You know, they all have different personalities, but those guys know they're at a great place, and they know because they're at a great place, they'll be well taken care of into the future. As much as I like to say the coach is important, the group and the players experience that next year's team will have and the continuity that's developed here over so many years is way more important than a single coach. And the next coach will continue to move forward and, and continue to develop and build his, this program. You mentioned, talk about the next coach. Would you, would you recommend or like to see somebody from the current staff maybe move right in? You know, it's probably out of my boundaries. I, I think the world of, of Chris Mack and I know Mike Babinski and Dr. Kusha and everybody here will, will make a, a great decision as best they can. And, you know, for me to comment on that is probably not the right thing to do other than what I said. Uh, but I certainly have a lot of faith and confidence in, in Chris. He's an excellent coach, and he'll be with me if he's not here. One more question. Coach, what was the single hardest part of this decision? The single hardest part of this decision is leaving the people here because I know that they're not the same everywhere. And, uh, and with the people at the forefront of the players, uh, that's the hardest thing to do, to you know, say goodbye to those guys. Because they, in a way, give you this opportunity as a coach. So I don't know if other coaches have it easier than me, but it was hard. So thank you very much.